That shows you who's really behind it, because we know that these uh, 19 hijackers have never been in 9-11. They're too busy. Some of them are too busy in Las Vegas. So somebody's got to blow the whistle, you know? Once they've tried real filtered water, you can't go back to regular tap water. I mean, I've been afraid to, you know, take a shower in it because you're gonna inhale all of the uh, water vapor, and that's pretty much the best means of getting it into you. You have to actually absorb more fluoride while you're showering than you do while you're drinking it. This is a brochure uh, of Dr. Paul Conant. He's one of the leading, leading advocates against fluoride, fluoridation in the water. And he goes through 50 reasons why uh, fluoride should not be in the water. Let's pick one at random, shall we? Uh, according to the agency, this is number 34. According to the agency of uh, for toxic substances and delete the disease registry, the other researchers, certain subsidies, uh, subsets of the population may be particularly vulnerable to fluoride's toxic effects. These include the elderly, diabetics, and people with poor kidney function. Again, can we in good conscience force these people to ingest fluoride on a daily basis for their entire lives? And Essentially what he's covering there is the fact that the more you drink, the worse you get. Fluoride in the tap water. Fluoride in the tap water. Truth must get out. Does that look like Midlaw compared to this one here? No. Because this guy, this man here was heavier set. This guy was right-handed. Did you see uh, Charlie Beach? Yeah. What the fuck's up with that? Did you want a coupon? Spend $20 at Canadian Time to get five off. How excited Toronto is to go green. That is a bit of the action here on Young Street. Young Street's been shut down. It's Saturday, July the 16th. It's the Live Green Toronto Festival. Just walk through it. And uh, we've seen a lot of the booths, a lot of nice people trying to, uh, you know, they got products, they got uh, hopes for a green future. And uh, that's some of what we've been trying to expose with the Climate Gate Expose the Hoax series now on a DVD that I made up. The Carbon Septillionaires DVD, This is Gore Lot. It's an overall movement to tyranny. You can watch the whole uh, movie too, Report from Iron Man, for a whole report on that. And so that's basically our recommendation, a recommended DVD. Uh, Mark also made a DVD on the green movement. Uh, it's a green world with a question mark. The scheme is, major point of it is a financial scheme. And uh, the future, is going to be a carbon tax credit scheme. They've already got the market set up in Chicago. Uh, it's going to be trading carbon credits. And uh, they're estimated into a multi-billion dollar market. It's going to be in the trillions soon. Uh, I guess we'll find out how green the green movement is. Green in terms of money, that is. Now, what this Live Green Toronto Festival is trying to do is trying to get people into the zone, into the green movement, and into these green schemes. 
uh, and uh, Toronto Tree Seekers is out here because we're trying to figure out what is up and we're trying to prevent a price from being put on uh, the carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is one of the most abundant things and whoever is going to control that market is going to control the money. If you control the carbon dioxide market. And one of the most obvious signs of the scam are the corporate uh, partnerships. You'll notice that a lot of the green movement has partnered with major banks and the major uh, corporate firms who are sponsoring this because I think they know the money's in it. You saw the money machine over at the uh, Canadian Tire exhibit. You saw uh, TD Bank had a whole kid zone over there. Uh, you see these Vixie bikes over here are run by uh, the TELUS, a big telephone company. That's what we're thinking about. Thinking about Green Toronto, thinking about uh, check out that DVD to, uh, with some classic press for truth involving the Al Gore trip. Uh, some 2009 highlights on there and it even ends off with a quick clip on uh, the Y Wind Farms with uh, Ron Stevens. So check those out. Word up, word up. No local government, and I mean no local government, the Green Energy Act which took away the rights of the municipalities on zoning and not one municipality stood up against it, which tells you what they're up to. Okay, they, they give it a little bit of lip service now, but that's after the fact. Okay, the local government is doing the bidding of the province, which is doing the bidding of the UN. So you can forget about your local council or the province, as they will not stand in the way of Agenda 21. That is going to be our job. And we have got to somehow wake up to youth. I really think it's just a bad.